Hello. I'm doing this video from Bondi Beach in Sydney, Australia today, which is super exciting. It's really nice to be traveling outside of Bali for a little bit. Been doing a lot of traveling this year actually, but ah, coming back here, this was one of the last places that I lived when I was still in the corporate world, when I worked for Uber. And I did, I was their city operations manager for their mapping program. And we were mapping every major city in Australia and New Zealand before I got fired. And then my whole entrepreneurial journey started. So it's pretty wild to be back here. I'm on my way to speak on a retreat in Fiji that I'll be heading to in a couple days. And I just wanted to drop in with you guys today and share about a really unsustainable business model that I'm seeing out there and I'm getting a lot of my high-level diamond and private clients coming to me who've tried on this business model who have you know hired some really popular coaches who although they teach energetics actually have a very fixed business model that they're passing on to their clients as like this is the way to hit six figure multiple six figure million dollar months and i'm noticing that the clients who've worked with those people are then coming to me to restructure after finding out like hey this doesn't actually feel like me or this doesn't feel sustainable or this isn't what i thought it was going to be and this is not how i want to run my business for the next five to ten years and so i want to share what's going on in those conversations because I think it might help you if you were being drawn into a world where like this is actually what you'd be getting yourself into and what you might want to consider instead. What I have found to be a very sustainable way to get to six figure months to feel really good and for me I prioritize both the lifestyle of freedom and the income like i know that i don't have to sacrifice making millions to have my lifestyle i want to travel a lot i want to be offline a lot this year i spent over six weeks completely offline on five or i think it's six now little retreat experiences where i took myself away for like a tantra immersion or i did a snorkel and dive experience and you know far off in the remote <laughs> indonesian jungle lots of experiences like this. I'm going to Fiji next week. And this is really important to me to be able to do that and to not have that many calls on my calendar, not have a whole lot of things that I'm pre-committed to all the time, but still have a business that 24-7, 365 days a year is making money and hitting that seven figure plus goal that we have in our company. So here's Here's the thing, because I just wanted to speak to that point because I hear sometimes people say, you know, I just really want to have that freedom and prioritize the lifestyle and the travel and the, you know, not delivering too much. But you might think that that would cost you in terms of being able to hit the numbers that you'd ideally like to hit. And I'm here to be a living example of that's not the case. It's just about how you make decisions in your business, how you set things up. And then you can have both. Like we want to have both. I want you to be able to have both. So here's the unsustainable malarkey that I see out there. Um, it's, it seems like the structure is, you know, it's, it's a pyramid where there's like super, super, super high ticket private coaching. Then there's masterminds that are never advertised. And then there's courses and live programs that run every single month in these kind of business models and then like master classes and lower ticket things that are like, you know, 100 or $200 level. But the primary focus of the business is running these courses and launching all the time, doing them live and then selling a year long membership where people commit to going on the journey with you and taking all of your courses for a year. What I have found from working with people coming out of this world is my clients going, yeah, I just realized that I don't want to be 
obligated to deliver a program every month. I don't want to be obligated to deliver something that I already said and like, you know, have a fixed topic. And now that's the thing that I'm going to be doing. I don't want to be obligated to launch something that's relatively low ticket every month. You know, something that's a, just a thousand dollars or something and try to get broad and wide and go quantity. I've had clients come in and wind up canceling their memberships and then needing to refund people because they're like, you know, I don't, you signed up for this thing that is no longer going to happen because I'm burning out and this doesn't feel good and it's not the way I want to run my business. So here's your money back. And then they have to deal with batch refunds and maybe they've already spent part of that money. It can get really, really tricky. And so here's, there's many things that are concerning about that. But if you're someone like me and you're listening to this and you're resonating with it, you don't want to be on calls all the time. You don't want to be constantly having to talk about a new thing all the time. And actually I find it very inconducive to a real sustainable business because what I like to do, and side note, I don't make my clients replicate my business model either. I just have a certain perspective around what is going to set you up for more sustainability. And then we figure out what's the balance you wanna have. Do you wanna do private coaching at all? Do you wanna just do low ticket? I've had clients just sell really like $200 and $500 programs and they're YouTube viral stars, which I know nothing about. I'm not, I'm not YouTube famous. I don't primarily sell $200 things, but I was able to, with everything that we know about marketing and sales and, and solid business execution, help this person to develop that business. And she wound up scaling from like, you know, at most had hit a 50K month to consistent 100K, 150K months, made 500K in five months that we worked together privately. And I'm a big proponent of, I'm not gonna take my business model and like, feed it to you like a bird mom feeding you chewed up worms like you get to choose it's a very strange analogy you get to choose what is the ideal for you and this is the other thing that i'm really doing with my private clients who are coming in from working with other coaches where it was like a very fixed model is they're like recovering their ability to listen and go yeah i kind of knew that that wasn't going to work for me but i overrode that suspicion and then I went along with it anyway, and it's the complete opposite thing of what I know has actually really worked for me or lit me up or brought me the most money or the best clients. And our whole process is, okay, let's tune back into what you know has been working. Let's figure out and analyze why was that working and where were those people coming in and what was, you know, a lot of my clients also come in feeling like, I don't know how I make my money. I'm very magnetic. I have, you know, got a lot of the energetics down, but I don't know exactly how people are coming in through where or why. And we figure that out. There is something very specific going on and we're able to analyze it, actually get the data and then systematize it and automate it or delegate it or just do something with it in the business where they don't have to think about it and it's being done for them on a repeated basis so that their income goes up and stays more consistent because we figured out what is actually working. Okay, so people come in, they're starting to go, oh yeah, okay, I don't, I don't want this business model, I want this business model. What, okay, I'll break down, I'm sure there's like so many different ways I could go right now. I wanna share a bit about what I like to do in my own business model and the diversification I like to have and where my priority lies in case some of you might resonate with that and take it as inspiration and weave it into your own businesses. This is not to say that you have to do it this way because like I said, I worked with people who do the complete opposite. I'll speak to my membership first of all. So a lot of these trendy memberships are, you know, locking you into a set number of courses for a set amount of time. My membership is just an access to all of my courses that are already in existence. We have about seven programs that I've done over the years whenever I felt like launching them, not because I had to or I had told people that courses were coming or I had pre-sold a bundle or something. I had just generated things that were exciting to me. And you can get access to all of that, plus all of our master classes, plus bundles, plus surprise content. And it's literally all the information. If you're someone who just does well with information and guiding yourself through curriculum, it's everything you need to know to run a seven figure business. If you don't want to pay for the personalized support and implementation over time and access to a mentor, great. That's what it's there for. Cause there's people who vibe with that. I do not pre-sell anything for my membership. It's just like here, 
Those are, it's $25,000 if you buy all that stuff separate. You can buy it here for like 5K and go to town and, and enjoy it at your own pace. And, and if you're a self-starter, you're gonna take a lot of golden nuggets that will make you a lot of money. Great. Do I do a Facebook group? Do I do a Voxer thread? Do I baby and handhold any of the people in my membership? No, not at all. It's very, very energetically light. It's pretty much free money for me when people sign up to the membership because it's things that are already created. We do one Q&A per quarter and we actually get on Zoom and it's quite intimate at this point because my membership is still growing. So we get people actually on Zoom and you get coached the way that we would on my mastermind. So it's also a great vetting tool for people who are like, oh, I'm not sure if I wanna you know, spend 25K and join Diamond yet, but let me like feel into how this container feels. Amazing, great, then it's there for you. And it takes me almost no effort. I'm not doing monthly Q and A's. There's no access to my team. It's, it's like very, I'm very removed from it. And it's a relatively high ticket membership still at 5K for a year's access to everything. This is just one of the ways that I personally kind of broke the rules and moved away from the way everyone else was doing memberships or like, God, I wouldn't do a low ticket membership personally. I just know myself and I see what's going on out there and I know that a lot of people do it. I just personally wouldn't, doesn't feel right for me. And I really choose that and honor that. And if my clients are tuning in and they're like, actually a low ticket membership really feels good for me. I'm like, great, let's explore that. And I'm not gonna say they shouldn't do that because I don't do it. But these are some of the ways that I look at what's in my product suite. I also primarily focus on selling high ticket. I feel most nourished and have the highest caliber clients inside of my main programs. And that's how I get so much great material to hop on here and just go live with you or teach or, you know, if a course just comes out of me at any point and we launch it without, you know, saying six months in advance that we're gonna be launching that, great. I personally like to put my focus there and I sell leveraged high ticket things. So I very rarely do private mentorship. All of my coaching is really done inside the masterminds. And we have two levels of masterminds. So no matter where someone is in their journey, they can plug into either Sapphire or Diamond. And I primarily sell those things to the world. That is it. I very rarely will sell something for $1,000 or $2,000. It's just, when I look at what works for the business, what gets us to our six figure plus months most easily, it's the recurring revenue of having people on payment plans inside a long-term high ticket program who are deeply invested in getting amazing results. And then people, like a couple people every month who are enrolling in those programs and adding an extra, you know, 15K per person. It doesn't, it doesn't take long to figure out how that would add up. We also have low ticket items. We've got master classes, we've got courses, but I don't prioritize my energy trying to fill from the bottom of the market because people who are buying something for like $1,000 are usually not that committed to me as a coach or to the way that we do things or they are, might just be kind of like dabbling along in that part of their journey and like kind of tasting from a lot of different approaches and still figuring, you know, they might be newer on their journey, kind of like figuring things out. Totally fine, I have things available for people at that stage, but it's not my focus, it's not my priority. Those are not the people that I'm most excited to serve and where I'm excited to actually get on and talk about something. I'm totally okay to get on and talk about Diamond and roll 30K clients or enroll 15K clients into Sapphire or you know my private coaching 60K, totally fine to speak about those and then get clients who are moving at that speed. This is what I like in my business. And then our courses are all downsells that you'll pr pretty much only get offered if we are talking about a mastermind and it doesn't seem like a fit. Then I'll be like, here, you know, here's a great curriculum to take yourself through. Get a bunch of paying clients or work on this part of your business. Maybe you just need to uplevel your messaging. Go and do this course and then come back. Or we make automated email offers for our courses. We've got a whole automated portion of the business that's low ticket. It's all sold over email and it's all automated. I never have to think about it. Or my marketing manager will just come up with a flash sale and if you're on the email list, you'll get made an offer to something low ticket. And that's that. That's, you know, it's and then that's just free money, like an extra $1,500 per sale of a course that, you know, from a, a bunch of people over a weekend, a couple times a month. 
that also adds up to the monthly income. And then those people, the, the whole point of that though, and the courses and what we're moving people towards is to work with us at a deeper level so we can actually support you to integrate and apply that information to your specific case. Like if you want me to look at your business, that's where we're gonna go into the mastermind together. But I'm not publicly talking about these, these low ticket offerings. This is just the way that I like to do things and some refreshing perspective that might help you better evaluate your business model and where you're placing your energy and what works for you. And if we work together, that's going to be our, our job is to sit together and really look at what's the right move for you. And I just love my model because it's not like what a lot of other things are that are being hawked out there. A lot of people sell super high ticket coaching to fill their, you know, those multiple six figure months. I don't want that. I just want to have two calls a week for my masterminds. And maybe if I have one or two private clients who kind of seek me out and they're like, please, can I, can I work with you privately? I rarely will talk about my private mentorship. This feels most leveraged, most sustainable, and most automated. And because a lot of our course sales and master classes and low ticket things are sold on an automated basis, and we do have an inorganic part of the business. We've got Facebook ads that run in a certain funnel that get people into something lower ticket and they prepare them and make them offers into the mastermind. So I have automated lead gen into my highest ticket leverage programs that I can have virtually as many people in them as I want. We would just add calls and add structure and add more support as the container grows. So how is this sounding guys? What, are, what have you noticed about the business models that work best for you, what you see happening in the industry right now, have you gone down? And this is what I said to my client who, you know, I've had so many of them, but one in particular lately that we're really reshuffling things. She's like, yeah, you know, I really got drawn into this, this other world and it seemed like the secret key to be making all this crazy money, but it's not me. And I was like, it's okay. It's okay when you go a little bit off your own path and you get pulled in another direction and you try something that doesn't work. That's great. That like you, now, you know, it's like the line in the sand. You just know yourself better. You know, what works for your business better. You have more information. You've tried things. There's going to be things that you picked up from these other coaches that will work for you that you can bring in to the mix and let's use it. Let's use the good things. But that like going off and coming back is so powerful. What you have to go through to come back to center and to know yourself better as the CEO of your business. Great. Amazing. I love, love that. Love that self-knowledge. And we're going to use that and make something better, make something more, more customized to you. <sighs> okay. I think I got through everything I wanted to share about this. Please comment below. Let me know what you think about this and if you're ready to work together if you've been watching my videos and you know that the approach that we have in our company is resonating with you or you want to explore it a bit more or you're curious just send me a message like i said we've got two masterminds and that's really where i work with people we've got the sapphire masterminds so you can be anywhere from just starting out to under 10k months and if you know that you need to work on the business model that's going to get you to 100k a year, if you need to learn to launch, if you need to work on your messaging, if you need to clarify your niche, uh, your ideal audience, you need to grow your audience, you need to develop a really well curated social media presence, you need a sales process that works for you and converts people, all the foundations we teach in Sapphire. And the results are insane. I mean, we market the program as get to your 10k months consistently, but honestly, most people are going right up to like 20 or 30. And then if you're already past hitting 10K months and you've got good momentum in your business, you've got offers, you know who you serve, you know how to launch, you can launch you know, fine and get people into your offers, but you're starting to hit a plateau and you know that you wanna to go to 250K a year, 500K a year, you wanna see your first million dollar a year. Any of that scaling stuff beyond the basics is what we do in Diamond. So creating more leveraged offers, creating more passive income, hiring team, more sophisticated support, backend systems and automation. Maybe you're reshuffling your product suite so that it's more diversified or you have less calls. Very often my diamonds come in and they're like, I'm making money, but I'm busy. <laughs> I am busy. I got a lot of calls on my calendar. I got a lot of one-on-ones. I got my group. I've got 
you know, I got to talk to the team and a really heavily managed, you know, team, probably just a VA or an OBM at that point. There's just, there's a lot going on and they would like to streamline. So Diamond is a lot about streamlining. So these are the places where I typically work with people. I do have one seat in private mentorship. Like I said, I really rarely, rarely take people at this level. Um, I only take one-on-ones if it's gonna feel really fun and easy and if you're already in a good momentum of your business. Like I wanna see you at one-on-one -on -one when you're already over making 100K a year, when you're, you know, you've got lots of pieces, you've launched courses, you've taught things, you've got an audience, you're like in motion and you're like, okay, well, how do I leverage the things that I've created now? How do I create more systemization? How do I create more passive income? How, who do I need on my team and when am I supposed to hire them and how? Like these higher level problems, those are the things that I'd want to be working with you on at the one-on-one -on -one level. And for what the investment is, you better be serious about hitting you know, 500K to a million a year this year. So feel free to reach out, chat with me about where you're at, what's resonating with you about what I share. And if you're looking for support, I would love to help you. And it's not just me. You get access to me and my entire team. So we've got expert copywriters who are especially focused on messaging for those of you in the healing and personal development, embodiment, that kind of space where we really know how to message those, those things. We have a trauma certified mindset coach who is absolutely the safest space to go and be your full emotional self as you're going through this up level. And my head support coach is my former COO who worked for me for two years when our business was scaling from 250K a year to 2 million. And she knows all the systems and the up levels and the processes that we went through to go on that journey. <sighs> and we'd love to have you. Okay, my loves, I hope this was helpful. I'm off to explore Sydney for another day. And I'll see you on the next video.